In this tutorial, we are going to modify the breakout system from the previous video. We will demonstrate using pending orders instead of market orders. We will copy the strategy under a new name, Daily Breakout Pending. Delete this condition and add a new condition. The order will be sent at 10 o'clock. We will change the order to a pending stop order. Because pending orders in TradeStation have a lifetime of only one bar, we will resend the order every bar. The order price will be at resistance with the same parameters as previously. Create the opposite, and the conditions for pending sell order are replaced. Now, two pending orders will be sent at 10 o'clock, one at support and one at resistance. When one pending order is filled and a position is opened, we want to stop resending all pending orders. First, we will change close long positions to delete stop orders. and we will stop resending them when there is at least one trade today. The number of positions today is above zero. We will also stop resending pending orders before the trading session ends. Create new conditions to delete pending orders at 15 o'clock. We will do the same to delete pending sell orders. Create both groups of conditions with the magic button. As we have pending orders, we don't need to limit the number of trades. Now, replace the source Verify and let's see if the backtest works as we want. We see the order is filled exactly at support or resistance, not at the opening of the next bar. This is why we are using stop orders. It works as planned, and we will optimize this system in the next video.